ditch crossing might be interesting with this rake. It's a good thing it's got so many different wheels under it because uh, my ditch is not nearly as wide as this, as this rake is, but I bet they get it across. They don't seem to be worried about it. Well, what's up guys this is daniel from arms family homestead and uh today well we're cutting hay actually we're not cutting hay we're baling hay yesterday was hay cutting day and uh i wasn't able to be here to uh to get any video of while they were cutting i had to had to go to work but we're baling we're raking and baling hay today so as you can see um of course this field's got a lot of trees in it but it'll make it'll make several round bales but we're, we're cutting this cool season grass. So this is a lot of um, cheat and brome and just, just cool season native grasses, some broadleaf stuff, just, just whatever we've got out here. This is not planted. And uh, we're gonna clean up this field. The other field, we'll go up and catch some, some footage of that in a minute. The big field, they'll make a lot, it'll make a lot more hay, but Houston, hey, guys. hey, you need to stay out of the way of those tractors. You hear me? Yeah. All right. Can I tell y'all something? Well, we can't see your face at all. It's just like a black hole there. Well, today, before we started the video, um, we were we were running this morning, and after that, we were on the buggy driving over here, and we found a turtle laying eggs on the road. And then we started to come back over here, and we found another one. And when we came back to like dig some up to see if we could find any, there was another one there. And that is wild. It is. But you know what just happened? What? Those two giant tractors just drove over where those turtles were laying their eggs at. I know, I was, I was so wondering. I was... Last year when we cut the hay off of our property, I think we got about 33 or 35 round bales. And they were baled on a very similar John Deere baler. So big, big heavy bales. I don't know what these are going to weigh exactly. My guess would be close to that thousand pound range. Maybe a little bit over. It depends on how tight his uh, baler uh, wraps that hay up. But we will probably get more this cutting than we did last year because we didn't get to cut it last year until i think it was like in july and things were really starting to dry out it was getting hot but uh the first field up on the high line where those high line wires are i think that made five bales or so the little field which is the kind of the small field in the middle i think it made like six or seven which that's mostly just a big deer hunting area really and then right now we're sitting here in the field where emily killed that big giant buck last year actually she shot him right over there by that thicket and uh, he came from across this field so why in the world are we cutting all this hay and what are we going to do with it because i know a lot of you're going to ask so <laughs> it's just kind of a it's a couple different reasons um i like to cut the hay off of our property at least once every year just to uh help maintain it because if we don't then you'll get lots of trees and brush and briars and thorns and all kinds of things growing that we don't want to grow and a nice pretty field will go from this to something like that over there in just a few years so i want to keep you know it's a property maintenance thing but i obviously don't need near this much hay with the number of animals that we have on our farm we may need eight or ten at the most of these round bales of hay probably really less than that so 
what are we gonna do with all this stuff? So most of this year's hay cutting is, uh, like I said, not going to be used on our property. We could sell it and, you know, recoup a little bit of cost out of out of our uh, maintenance from, from uh, our property this year. And, you know, things cost money. Fences cost money. It costs money to spray. It costs money for equipment and all that stuff. So we could be cutting hay to sell. Um, but that's really not what I'm doing this year. I don't have near enough hay to really pay somebody to come in and cut it and then sell it. I mean, sure, we sell 30 bales or so at, say, forty forty dollars a bale we can make a little bit of money but we got to pay the guy to come cut it and bale it so this year what we're doing with most of our hay other than what we're going to keep for ourselves is it's going to go just down the road to the big famous bison herd for dusty at cross timbers bison um dusty's my brother-in-law and he if you haven't seen his channel you really need to go check it out huh Houston? yeah one of them just had babies last night oh houston just dropped a secret that hasn't even been announced on dusty's channel so dusty just had a cow calf cow calf and brand new baby bison on the ground i'm sorry dude i'm oh. if you can't tell bell is panting because it is like 93 degrees in oklahoma today and i'm sweating like a crazy person me too anyway so dusty's got a brand new baby bison on the ground hopefully he'll have a video about that really soon if you're not familiar go check it out cross timbers bison they're on youtube facebook all the socials, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, that's where most of our hay is gonna go. So Dusty and my father-in-law have added some pasture this year and they kind of fenced in one of their hay fields. They cut hay off of their property last year and got plenty of hay to get them through the winter. But with them uh, adding more pasture, they lost some hay. So they had their, their place baled, but it only made like 15 or 18 round bales, the first cutting. So they don't have a lot of hay. So Dusty's, I worked out a deal with Dusty um, to keep me from having to brush hog my whole property. He's just going to pay the the guys that are here to bale our hay. And then we get, you know, a few bales out of it for nothing. And then Dusty's going to get the rest of it, which will help Dusty get his uh, bison through the winter over at Cross Timbers Bison. Pretty cool deal, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He should probably fix my hair. Why? Before mom, before, before mom kicks your butt. Okay, here we go. Is that better? Um, a little bit worse. So when it comes to baling hay and storing hay, the baler makes all the difference in the world because a good solid tight bale that's really compacted and just as much grass in there as possible is obviously going to store a lot longer than uh, a, you know an older baler that's not going to not might not roll it up near as tight. And their baler uses a net wrap, so some some round balers use string. So there'll be a string every six or eight inches. You got a whole bunch of strings going all the way around it. Um, but this is a net wrap. So having the net on there helps helps keep everything nice and tight, compacted. And you know, if it rains on it, obviously you're gonna get some water soaking in there, but it helps shed some of the water, I think. And then uh, we're not gonna be able to uh, store hay in the barn this year. Usually I try to store most of my hay in my barn 
But as I told you guys a while back, we're fixing to start converting that from a barn into a shop. And I'm getting bids and quotes on concrete. I've got a friend that's gonna help me do all the electricity. And then we're gonna spray foam, insulate the shop. So probably not gonna be storing much hay um, in the barn. So that's all right. We, we try to only use hay from the, the you know that year. We don't store it for several years um, for the goats and just our animals. Try to use fresh hay, but uh, those are nice, big, really tightly wound bales that uh, they'll feed our animals all winter, plus Dusty and his bison herd. Well, it is all cut, all baled, and completely finished. We didn't make quite as many as what I thought. Um, I was thinking we'd probably do a little better than we did last year. That farthest field, the biggest field, um, it doesn't have near as much cool season grass. So that up there on the high line and that first little field gets really tall and really thick in cool season grasses. That far field usually does better in the summertime. It's got a lot of native grass, the blue stem and things in it. But uh, it's all right, we got all our hay cut and it made 27 round bales. And those are really big round bales. They're not small, um, small lightweight round bales at all. So 27 is clearly way more than what I'm gonna use. Like I said earlier, I'll probably use, I'll probably keep eight or 10 here for us. And then the rest will go over to Dusty at Cross Timbers Bison. And I think the hay baler said, he made 42 bales with what they bailed over at my in-laws place plus here. So Dusty should be good. They may come to get another cutting later in the summer. Kind of depends on the weather. And uh, if we start getting some good rains, obviously he'll be able to come cut this again and get a summer cutting out of it. Get some Bermuda grass, some blue stem, some native grass, which is really good for, uh, for those bison. They'll love the blue stem and things. But anyways, yeah, I'm not, I am not going to go get on my tractor and start moving hay bales right now. Um, those guys have some top-notch John Deere equipment and uh, have air conditioners. I don't have an air conditioner on my tractor, so I'll wait until the cool evenings or early mornings and bring all that hay up here close so we can get it over to Dusty whenever he's ready to start hauling it off. But uh, it's way too hot for me to do that right now, and my kids are wanting to go fishing. The crappie, the crappie are biting. I've been getting messages from people saying, hey, the spawns, I mean, we're way past the spawn. Crappie have moved up on the docks. So I'm gonna go get some minnows probably and take the kids, catch a few fish, and just have it an awesome afternoon if I don't get called into work. So anyways, guys, all the hay cut is done and uh, it's all over but the crying, right? <laughs> so guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.